In most places in the world, the Megillah is read on the night immediately following Ta'anit Esther, a fast day. And obviously, uh, it doesn't make it easier. The fact that we daven Mariv and then we read the Megillah right after the fast. One would think that perhaps there would be a kind of a priori leniency in order to enable us to get involved a little bit in the reading of the Megillah without the headache that comes from fasting. So the Shulchan Aruch says in Tavresh Tzadi Bet, Mishu anus ktsat, veino yechol elech lebeit hakneset, tzarich lamtin, someone who is unable for some reason to make it to shul that night. So he's home. He doesn't hear the Megillah in shul, but he should wait. Right? He should wait until after the Tzibur read the Megillah before he starts uh, to eat. And here the Mechaber expresses a little kind of touch of, of humanness, and he says, if it's hard for him, if there's some problem that he has, that he's not going to be able to come to shul, and he knows in advance that he's not going to uh, uh, listen, be able to come to hear the Megillah, he can hear the Megillah even before nightfall, mi plag ha-mincha ulemala from the time that is called Plag HaMincha, right? An hour and a quarter, Zmanit, Sha'od Zmaniyot, before the night uh, uh, falls. The Ramah says, the Ramah doesn't want you to make a mistake. Whereas the Mechaber said, you shouldn't, um, you shouldn't eat before you read the Megillah. And if you can't, you have to wait until after the Megillah was read in shul so that you're kind of a silent participant in the Pirsume Nisa that is going on. He says, but if you know the Mechaber has a leniency, and his leniency is that if you're able, if you're not able to come to shul at night, you can read the Megillah earlier. You can read the Megillah. We, we generally don't do that, but I imagine that the occasion to do such things might come up in the army, for guys who are going out all night long to, uh, you know, the hours that the patrols go out don't always accommodate Shkiyat uh, Neitza, Chama, And therefore, you can, you can preempt the problem by reading the Megillah early. And then the Ramah adds, the same halacha, the Ramah adds, but still it is forbidden to eat before he hears Kriat Ham Megillah. It's forbidden to eat before you hear the Megillah. And then he says, Afilu Ta'anit Kasha Alav. Even if it's difficult for him to maintain this Ta'anit without, uh, without eating. The Mishnah Brura adds, he says that, Imu Adam Chalush, but if he's weak, physically weak, and this uh, waiting might actually damage his health, then, and he might get uh, uh, sick, uh, then he's allowed to eat a little bit. Uh, uh, and if that's not enough, um, then probably he can eat. In other words, on the one hand, the Chachamim were very interested that we do the mitzvah of Kriyata Megillah immediately, together, in shul, because of the aspect of Pirsume Nisa, of popularizing the miracle. And therefore, it's not a mitzvah which is ordinarily done by people on their own, or even in smaller groups when the option of doing the mitzvah in a larger group exists. And therefore, the Chachamim, it, uh, the Chachamim insisted, the Chachamim insisted that the, uh, that the, um, Megillah should be read immediately when most people would be able to come to Beit HaKnesset to be part of the Pirsume Nisa of Arabim with the, with the great public who are participating in, in, uh, in uh, Pirsume Nisa. And even if there was a difficulty, the 
fast precedes the reading of the Megillah, we have to absorb that difficulty. The Ramah is very clear that we should not give ourselves a break on this matter. The Mishnah Brewer, of course, points out that just as with other mitzvot, mitzvot min ha-Torah, uh, the health of the individual's health is, is a primary consideration. If, in fact, there's a real medical problem, all of those people are in a different category. They're allowed to, to eat some peyrot, some fruit. They're allowed to taste things that will make them feel better. And if there's no other possibility, they're even allowed to eat as they would eat regularly. But they should not miss the cre- reading of the Megillah in public.